N map stands for network mapper and it was uh, developed somewhere around I think 1970s or 1980s so it is a, one of the oldest tools which we have in the information security domain now the first thing which we want to do using nmap is to check how many devices are connected in my network so the command is nmap hyphen v hyphen v stands for verbros that means uh, i'm asking nmap so that uh, buddy rather than keeping things to yourself all the background processes to yourself display them to me so that i can understand nicely what you're doing so hyphen v will give us a output rich uh, it will give us a rich output so that we can understand how nmap actually works then the ip address of the of your target so 192.168.1. Uh, now if i write a specific ip address like for example 123 if that is uh, an IP, if that if there is a machine on 123. So for example, if I'm writing this IP address, what Nmap will do is Nmap will scan this specific device, but I don't know that is there any machine on 123 or not. Yes, I have to first identify, I have to first uh, figure out where all of these machines are, right? So rather than uh, giving a specific IP address and just, you know, shooting darts in the uh, dark what we can do is we can ask nmap to scan the entire network so i'm adding 0 slash 24 so slash 24 as we all know defines that you're using uh, you're going to be doing a type c type of scan uh, another way of understanding it, this is that the ipv4 is a 32 bit addressing so all those 32 bits uh, are divided in these four octets uh, so that's one octet that's second one third sorry third and this one is your fourth octet so these 32 bits are divided uh, in this manner 8 bits to the first one 8 bits to the second one 8 bits to the third one and 8 bits to the fourth one pretty simple right so yeah, eight fours are, I'll leave the maths to you. So slash 24 means I'm gonna be keeping the starting 24 bits as static and we'll only, uh, st uh, we'll only scan the last eight bits. So the last eight bits define the entire last octet. So Nmap will scan the targets ranging from 192 to 168.1.0 to 192.168.1.255 that is amazing now let's execute this one and i'll explain how nmap works so now what nmap actually does is uh, nmap will send it let's just scroll up so what nmap is actually doing at this moment nmap is sending a ping request to all of these targets so it started from zero it found that i it found a device on dot one that is the reason why it is not in host down list so it will start it will just keep pinging each and every device and for every device it gets an icmp ping eco response back nmap will uh, scan them Let's just keep uh, that for a while. I'll explain how Nmap scan those specific targets which are alive in a moment. So right now what Nmap is doing, Nmap is scanning all of these uh, IP addresses and they seem to be down. There is no host over there or they're declining our ping request. So let's just scroll down. And so Nmap went till 255. That's amazing. So, the, so Nmap scanned the entire network now what nmap will do of all the host it found live nmap will start scanning it's, it's starting 1000 interesting ports so remember what i said starting 1000 interesting ports not the sequential 1000 ports that means not from uh, port number one to uh or so sorry from 0 to 1024 it will scan their starting 1000 ports which is a uh, conjunction of lots of different uh port numbers now, all of these ports which Nmap has specifically chosen for uh, a default scanning like this is uh, because on those specific ports, system services run. Like uh, there will be some specific system services which are exclusively for Windows. There are certain for which are exclusive for Mac OS and there are certain for which are exclusive for Linux distributions. So Nmap will uh, scan all of those ports and based on... Um, based on its finding it will let you know what type of target we are facing 
and then we can customize our scans as we want to so let's move down so nmap has initiated scan at blah 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 scanning four hosts so it found four hosts live and now nmap is start scanning 1000 ports per host so discovered port open on this 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 so all of the data which you have been seeing so far is because we use the verbros mode for it so if you haven't used the hyphen v tag over there you won't be getting this data the only output which you will be getting will be from um, here the nmap scan report for this specific address now let's see what this means so nmap have uh, nmap have scanned this ip address 192.168.1.1 which is actually my uh, access point so port number 53 tcp was open and it is running a dns service over here port number 80 tcp is open which is of course your http uh, port number sorry 5555 tcp is open which is running free civ so you can understand what type of services this specific machine is running